Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So, are you in a seasonal relationship? Right? Ask yourself this question. If you are in a relationship and you're unhappy and things are not going well and you're struggling and you're fighting with this person, hopefully just verbally, not that that is healthy, but you're having these fights with this person, these arguments, this consistent bickering and just you just cannot get along with each other you need to ask yourself are you in a seasonal relationship so that's what we're going to discuss today seasonal relationships but before i get into that please don't forget to subscribe it helps the channel to grow please don't forget to leave your comments as well i appreciate your comments also it gives me ideas for other videos right please don't turn on please don't forget to turn on your post notifications because that way you'll see when I post and I post fairly often I'm trying to develop a schedule right now of maybe three times a week or so uh, maybe four we'll see how that goes but at least when your post notifications are on you'll see when I'm post and then obviously don't forget to hit the like button because that really helps the videos get promoted as well and please share the videos with your friends and your loved ones. All right, so today we're going to discuss seasonal relationships. So at the beginning I said, are you in a are you currently in a relationship and perhaps you're not happy? And one of the reasons for that, it might be that you are in a seasonal relationship. And what I mean by that is some relationships are not meant to last forever. Some relationships are not meant to last forever. Some relationships are just seasonal, right? They're like the seasons that we go through. If you happen to live in a place, uh, in a culture, or in a, in a country where you have different seasons, so some relationships are just that. They're seasonal. Some people are only supposed to be in your life for a period of time, and I call that a season, right? And during that period of time, they're supposed to perhaps teach you something, and if they're not supposed to do it, then the good thing is you can learn something from them. Now, when a relationship ends, it doesn't mean necessarily that the person is bad, right? Or you're bad. It just means that that relationship has, it ran its course, and so it's over. And so what we should do, I believe, when, we, when we're in relationships, in any relationship, even in a relationship that could last for 50 years, what we should do is we should always be constantly learning because we learn different things from people as we interact with them every single day someone that you've known for five years or ten years could surprise you and teach you something and make you aware of something that you didn't even think was possible so some relationships are seasonal and we're not meant to be with some people so what happens when we decide to hold on to certain people to hold on in certain relationships all right, when we decide to turn seasonal relationships into long-term relationships, that's when unhappiness can come in. So there comes a point when you realize, and a lot of times we know, we realize when we're supposed to let someone go. It's time for them to go. It's time for you to move on. But we keep finding ways to hold on to them, to just keep them in our lives for whatever reason. And a lot of times, it's because we have become so comfortable with having the person in our life, even if comfortable means unhappy. Sometimes there are people who are unhappy, but believe it or not, they are comfortable being unhappy. Right? Think about it, because if you were so uncomfortable, right, so uncomfortable to the point you might want to get let the person go, but they already know what they have, and so they we find ways psychologically to deal with what we have to put stuff in compartments and to isolate the parts that we don't like and to appreciate the things that we do like. And so we keep people in our lives a lot of times that way that are not supposed to be in our lives, seasonal relationships. One reason too that we also keep people in our life past their season is for pity, because of pity, because we feel sorry for them. Maybe the person just lost their job 
and we're trying to help them out. And that's noble. I'm not saying that you can't help someone. Maybe they've fallen ill and that was not the best time for you to walk away from them. That's fine. I could understand you wanting to stick around to make sure that someone feels well. But you've got to be careful to what extent you go with that. To what extent is pity? Because you're also confusing someone the longer you stay in their life. So yes, I agree you can help someone. You can stick around long enough to make sure that they're okay, to make sure that they find a job, to make sure that they're healthy again, that sort of stuff. But then after that, I think you have to let this person know that you can't just stick around because you're sorry for them, right? And maybe even when you, you're, you're helping them and making sure that they're doing okay, you have to let them know that this is the only reason why I'm still here. It's because I'm trying to make sure that you're okay. Because what happens is you're actually being dishonest to the other person, making them feel that you actually want to be with them, when the only reason you're in a relationship with them, quote unquote relationship with them, is because you have pity. You feel sorry for what they're going through. You have some kind of compassion for them. Loving someone because you only have compassion for them is a hard thing, right? It's a difficult thing to just say, I'm going to love you out of pure compassion because I feel sorry for you, I'm going to love you. I mean, that doesn't quite go together all that well. So some relationships are completely seasonal. Someone is supposed to, it means that that person is only supposed to be in your life for a short space of time. And what happens if you try to hold on to something that is not for you, that it's gone now beyond the expiration date, so to speak. What happens to food when it goes beyond the expiration date and you eat it, then it could hurt you. You could end up sick. And you could and, and the sickness a lot of times that happens in a relationship is you end up mentally scarred. And so you then you're not able to to transition to another relationship because you are mentally scarred in this relationship because you stayed in the relationship for so long that you got messed up emotionally and mentally, Hope, hopefully not physically, but in mentally and emotionally. And so that's because you stayed in the relation, the seasonal relationship too long. And so now when you're ready to move on to another relationship, you can't be good for that person or good for yourself because you're scarred from your previous relationship because you stayed, you tried to extend the season when the season was over. So I just wanted to share that with you. Please leave your thoughts. Let me know, have you ever been in a seasonal relationship and tried to extend it for too long? And what was the outcome of that relationship, right? I love to hear your thoughts and your comments on this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications because I post often. And please share the videos as I'm trying to grow the channel. Looking forward to your comments. Until next time, peace.